Hello all Gensafarians, today we will do something different, we will take a look at some dinosaurs, okay? If you guys do not know, Jurassic World Dominion is coming out and I have a box of new dinosaur figures, check this out. This is actually from the new um, dinosaur movie called Jurassic World Dominion. This is a Scorpio Venator, so we'll take a look at some of these carnivorous dinosaurs, okay? So let's go. Alright guys, so let's begin, okay? So the first figure right here is actually the latest one, which is known as the um, Scorpio Venator. I'm really happy that we have finally got this figure. So this is actually known as the Scorpion's Face, if I'm not wrong. So it's a very cool figure. You can actually push the body down like this, and um, it will roar. So yeah, it is a carnivorous dinosaur, like, you know, all these figures right over here. The next one is actually a new figure known as a Rajasaurus. This dinosaur was actually discovered in India. It's a very cool figure, you can actually lift this up. Um, and it can actually review some Jurassic World facts when you scan this little DNA code right over here. So this dinosaur right here is actually a carnivorous dinosaur discovered in India. You can see there's plenty of spikes and the flaunt on his body. So very cool. It also acts like a protection armor, you know, for the dinosaur. Next up, let's take a look at this. This dinosaur is actually known as a concavenator. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a very cool dinosaur because it has this little hump right over here. Okay, you can actually press this button, the jaw will snap. Um, there is two buttons, I think. The other one is right over here, which actually, which actually swings the tail. Next up, we have a Kakarodontosaurus. This is also a theropod carnivorous dinosaur. And um, this is actually known as the shark tooth lizard, I think, the teeth actually resembles the teeth of a shark if I'm not wrong, okay? So there are two buttons as well, I think, or is there only one? I think there's only one for this. Yep, really beautiful dinosaur figure. Let's move on. T-Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex, I think majority of you guys should have heard of this dinosaur before. I mean, this is the um, extreme damage Tyrannosaurus Rex. T-Rex, the name actually means Tyrant Lizard King, okay? Next up, we have a Majungasaurus, okay? Majungasaurus is actually another dinosaur, I think, which is discovered, which was discovered in India. Okay, really, really cool one. Next up, we have a Spinosaurus, which is one of my most favorite dinosaurs of all time. So this is the extreme chomping Spinosaurus from the Camp Cretaceous series. And um, yeah, this is a Spinosaurus and um, it is known as the Spine Lizard because of this huge neural spine bones. So I'm pretty sure that you guys should know this. Um, this one, it's a relatively new figure known as a Ceratosaurus, which is known as the Haunt Lizard, okay? Haunt Lizard. Next up, we have a Cryolophosaurus, which is also another carnivore. And this is a Soundstrike figure. Cryolophosaurus is actually known as the cold crested lizard because it is the one and only dinosaur that was discovered in the Antarctica. Alright, let's move on. Macriocanthosaurus. Um, this dinosaur is known as the moderately spined lizard because it has a very uh, moderate sized neural spine bones right over here. This figure is uh, also a raw attack. Alright, let's move on. And this one right here is known as a Silarus. Okay, a Silarus. I don't have much facts about this dinosaur right here. And this one is actually known as an Aleoremus. This dinosaur is actually quite closely related to the T Rex. Moving on, what do we have right here? This is actually known as the Hararosaurus. Um, I think this dinosaur was actually discovered by a paleontologist by the name of Herrera or something like that, which is why it's named after that paleontologist. Moving on, we have a Monolophosaurus. This dinosaur was actually um, very, very... Um, it was seen many times in Camp Cretaceous. Yeah. I can't remember that what does the name mean, but this is a really beautiful you know, theropod, for sure. Okay, moving on. Let's see, what else we've got? Another alien reamer. So we have two alien reamers in um, this box right here. Velociraptor, which is um quite a famous dinosaur. I think majority of um 
majority of the people actually have heard of this. This is a very cool figure. It actually um, is one of the latest, you know, Velociraptors with a spring. I think this is the one and only Velociraptor with a spring action body. So you can actually tilt the body and just release it. It'll spring. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. Dilophosaurus, which is known as the double crested lizard because of this, you know, frills right over here. Uh, it's a really beautiful one. Okay. Moving on, we have a Mesiacosaurus right over here. You can see this dinosaur, uh, it actually has very unique teeth which are pointing outwards. Okay. Let's move on and take a look at this. This is a Proceratosaurus, which is known as um, the lizard before Ceratosaurus, I think, like something like that. Yeah. Allosaurus, known as the different lizard. This is um, a pretty new figure. Um, this is from the um, raw attack. You can actually push this button and it will walk. Very nice figure. I, I like this a lot. And this one right here is actually known as the Albertosaurus. You can see it has two fingers on each arm, which is similar to a T Rex. So, and um, it is actually a Tyrannosaur as well, which is, um, you know, a distant relative, uh, I mean, a close relative to the T Rex. Very cool figure. I love this color scheme, to be honest with you. Ceratosaurus, a really beautiful figure right here. Um, yeah, I think previously I've actually shown you guys a um, Ceratosaurus just now, so this is another one. Baryonyx, which is known as the Heavy Claw. I mean, this dinosaur is actually pretty. Um, it has a very, very significant and um, trick mark um, claw right here because you can see the first claw is actually like way bigger than um, the other two claws, right? Yeah, that's right. So, Baryonyx known as the Heavy Claw. This is a raw attack figure. I really love this figure because um, they actually put in effort to make it like, you know, more vibrant. So, it actually has a tint of like turquoise color across the top of the head and down the neck, so this figure in terms of the color scheme, it really pops. Carnotaurus, one of the very famous and more popular, you know, species when it comes to theropod carnivorous dinosaurs. Carnotaurus is known as the meat-eating bull. Uh, I'm, I mean, the bull actually comes from the fact that it has two horns that resembles a bull. And this is a control and conquer Carnotaurus, okay? You can twist the tail, which in turn, um, move the neck and um, the jaw will also snap. It has a scar right across the right hand side of the snout because this is actually Carnotaurus Toro from the Cam Cretaceous um, series, okay? What is this? This is a Mononychus which is known as the uh, One Claw because it only has one claw on each arm, okay? Um, I think this is um, somewhat, somewhat related to a bird. They feed on insects and they feed on small little animals. Okay, Suchomimers, which is a relative to the um, Spinosaurus, so they are also like semi-aquatic dinosaurs which feed on, you know, I think fish. So this is a doer attack figure um, that was a couple of years ago. I think we got this like all the way back in like 2018 or 2019. Really beautiful figure. Another relative of the um, Suchomimers and um, Spinosaurus is this Irritator. This is the Soundstrike Irritator. So really cool one. Doesn't have any buttons, but you, you can actually move the tail. Beautiful one. Next up, we have the Tabosaurus. Okay, Tabosaurus is also a close relative to the Tyrannosaur. I mean, similarly to the Tyrannosaurus Rex, it has two fingers on each arm, two digits on each arm. Very cool. I mean, even the face looks like a T-Rex, but of course, it has like thorns on its back. I mean, from the head all the way to the tail right over here. Yeah. Really nice figure. I love this color scheme a lot because I think red versus the dark gray and the light gray, it really makes it pop a lot. Okay, I think we have one last figure. Oh no, we have two figures right here, okay? So this is actually known as the um, Gassosaurus and this is like a mini battle damage figure and Gassosaurus is actually it got its name from uh, the way it was actually being discovered. Um, a petroleum company actually discovered this, you know, found its fossil and um, yeah, so it's, I mean, it's related to a gasoline company, so it's known as a Gasosaurus. 
But if the lasties, I think, are, um, I don't really have much facts about this dinosaur, but it is definitely, um, you know, a pretty cool figure to have because this species is kind of um, obscure, okay? Um, oh, we have one last one which is hidden right here, it is actually the Trodon. Okay, this figure, I think it looks kind of cute, okay? Alright, um, so yeah, so this is basically a box of Jurassic World dinosaur, you know, honey, honey dinosaurs. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and um, I'll see you guys in the next one, goodbye.